Hello, I'm going to talk about the ANOVA statistical test. Many years ago, I took an advanced graduate statistics class, and it is amazing how quickly you can forget the basics of these things. One of the things that did stick, stick with me is when to use the ANOVA. So beginners tend to like the independent samples t-test where you can do your pairwise comparisons. So if you have three groups, A, B, and C, the question could be why not just use the independent samples t-test three times. So you can do A and B, groups B and C, and group C and A. The problem is that every time you do a statistical analysis with an alpha set at 0.05, each time you do that analysis, you increase the overall alpha. So if we have a 0.5 alpha for A and B, then another 0.5 for comparisons for B and C, and still another 0.5 for C and A, when you're using the t-test, you have to add up, and it's not exactly 0.15, but comes to 0.143, which is much larger than what we planned. But with the ANOVA, we can compare all the groups, which is one test, and it keeps the alpha where it was set. Now, while I might have remembered that, I really forgot the intuition behind what's happening with the ANOVA. So I might have been able to run it in SAS and calculate it, get it correct on a test, but I really had forgotten the basic understanding of what is taking place with an ANOVA. And in an effort to prevent that from happening to others, there's this nice site that helps you visualize the ANOVA. And I found this very helpful in developing an intuition for it. So here we have four error bar um, graphs. And we have our F statistic, and we can see that's the variance between the means or the variance within the groups. So here we have our grand mean, and right now we don't have any F score because they're all falling at the, with the same mean. So if you have a zero in the numerator, you're going to have a zero F score. But as we increase the variance, we can see our F starts to grow. And we have another group that's going to start to give us a large F. The other way that you can increase your F score is by decreasing the variance within the group. So if we start to shrink the, the error bars, you can see our F continues to grow. So as the, the denominator gets smaller, of course, that's going to give us a much bigger F score. So playing around with this I think is very helpful in developing that intuition and in understanding exactly what is going on with an ANOVA.